Working for Atlas in Göttingen is a really big honor, especially in respect of all the famous people such as David Hilbert, who have been working and studying in Göttingen in the past. Mixed with great education, there's some wonderful young people working here and there's some brilliant people to look up to, such as Otto Hahn. People like uh, Alfred Klepsch um, from the Klepsch-Gordon coefficient. Where so many Nobel laureates worked, for example, in this former Institute for Particle Physics here. People like Victor Weis Weisskopf, who, um, you know, he ended up being one of the first, or the first director general at CERN. So it's, it's just very inspiring to be in that company. And do research in a city where um, great guys like, for example, von Weizsäcker were working. Hermann Minkowski, who made huge contributions to the field of special relativity. The house of Heisenberg and also uh, connections with all great people around. Like uh, Lichtenberg, for example, who worked in Göttingen. The Maria Göppert Meyer, which as you can see in the back, um, was the first and only female theory scientist or physicist that uh, was able to achieve the Nobel Prize. In the cafe behind me, Heisenberg um, writes down the first commutator of quantum mechanics on a napkin. Here we're at the grave of Gauss, who's a legendary Göttingen figure and legendary in all physics. Werner Heisenberg, who worked in this building roughly 70 years ago. This Karl Schwarzschild, for example, having been here. And I enjoy the student life as well as the PhD here in Göttingen. Richard Curran is a famous mathematician and his son Ernest Curran is the founding father of the accelerator physics. Max Born uh, studied and learned and uh, he was the father of quantum mechanics. For example, James Frank and such an inspiration for us. It still has extremely talented, brilliant young people and I'm enjoying performing uh, various uh, analysis with them and um, they're teaching me as well as I'm teaching them. Where if you look behind me is the observatory where Gauss and Weber uh, invented the first telegraph and you know we still have the same message being sent in a laser the first message that they exchanged. This is where modern physics was born, basically, and for example, Wilhelm Weber was working here. Uh, the Atlas Göttingen Group has given me the opportunity to um, continue my career in particle physics, to work with students, and also to work in a city where Max Born uh, worked himself, so he was the um, instrumental in the um, development of quantum mechanics. Derek Clay here and, and his boundary conditions and you really feel like you're fitting in doing, doing the kinds of physics that these guys were also interested in. Also wonderful opportunities to do uh, public outreach, uh, for example uh, building a yeah, Atlas Lego model. I profited a lot from Atlas in uh, my career. I joined Atlas as a postdoc and based on the experience uh, I later got the professorship uh, for experimental particle physics here at the University of Göttingen. And that was a wonderful opportunity for me to start up a completely new institute. That's a very rare occasion, a challenge, but also uh, a great opportunity and honor. Uh, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm just honored to be, to be part of the physics tradition here at the University of Göttingen with great uh, physicists like uh, Friedrich Hund, uh, who have made their mark in physics history. And just to be part of this tradition and contribute to physics research has been an impeccable uh, and excellent uh, experience. Um, I got a permanent position in uh, Göttingen based on my research on the pixel detector. I'm head of the lab and we're we have been building pixel detectors and we still keep doing so. I think it's a, it's a very young, very active university town which makes it very special. But it also draws on the famous physicists, on the reputation and on the work that was done here. My highlight of the Göttingen group is actually the group. So the, my friends and colleagues working together with me in, a, in this huge experiment. A great memory of Atlas is being able to go down into the cabin and seeing is what we do. So we work here in our office and often the often it's lost on you just what Atlas is. So going into the cavern and seeing this this hulking beast of a detector is really always something quite impressive. When uh, the Higgs boson was discovered, so I was part of the team who was operating the detector in the days. To explore the fundamental of physics through the Atlas experiment at the LAC and give me the opportunity to stay in this beautiful and historical city. Bernhard Riemann, a very famous mathematician, 
uh, who gave the basis, for example, for general relativity and the mathematics needed in this case. Max Planck, where we are now standing in front of the house. Georg Lichtenberg. And also, on the other hand, the city is very young and has this intellectual and academic spirit. Very famous mathematicians with this uh, worked and lived here in Göttingen, like Max Planck, for example. Alfred Klepsch was one of the authors of the Klepsch-Gordon coefficients who are needed to describe spin and angular momentum in quantum mechanics. Um, take Lichtenberg, for example, who established the convention plus minus for charge. Weil's house who did uh, quite a lot of work for quantum mechanics. And also more recently, specific to accelerator physics, the work of uh, Hans Demelt and uh, Wolfgang Paul. And uh, the possibility to uh, discuss with normal people, people uh, not involved in research, about uh, the discoveries, uh, about the searches uh, which are currently made at CERN and the ATLAS. We can get a lot of inspiration from young people. And it's been and an amazing experience there to contribute to cutting edge research with leaders in a field that I would like to pursue in the future. For me personally, it gave me the opportunity to do parts of my research here in the beautiful country of Japan. I imagine such a type of complexity and detailed things. It's a really another world. I was extremely happy when I was accepted. Göttingen was a very famous uh, city for his uh, wide scientific uh, history and it, I thought it was very interesting to, to live there and meet uh, people working there. But it also gives me a chance to meet with people that I wouldn't be able to meet otherwise. To me Atlas is one of the best places for young physicists to work in an international framework in one of the most exciting topics in modern physics.